Hi everyone, welcome to the online panel. Today is Unit 10, where we will continue to discuss about the second, third, and fourth variations for division of four digits by two digits. These variations involve over quotient and the same first digit questions. In the previous unit, we mentioned about over quotient by once. So please allow me to revise these questions. First of all, the starting point is 4, minus 1, and minus 2, which gives you 1. Place the dividend on the starting point 1 on the abacus. 2 times 9 is 18. Then we use the answer 9 to times 3, which is 27. However, 27 is not enough to minus here. Therefore, we minus 1 time from the answer, skip 1 rod, and return the first digit of the divisor, which is 2. Next, we will use the new answered 8 to times 3, which gives us 24. Now we can minus 24. Therefore, the correct quotient of the first digit is 8. Now we will find the second digit of the answer. 9 is bigger than 2. Hence, we will put the answer on the second rod of the left. 2 times 4 is 8. Then, 4 times 3 is 12. The final answer is 84. As mentioned in the last unit, the position of placing the answer on the abacus has two situations. 2, 1, and the other one is 1, 2. When we are using two digits of the dividend, we place the answer on the first rod of the left. When we are using one digit to minus, we place the answer on the second rod of the left. I have shown both situations in the demonstrations. Let us look at the second question. The dividend has one digit lesser. If you place a zero in front of the dividend, it actually looks the same as the previous question. However, zero has no meaning here. So, the starting point is 0. On the abacus, find the starting point 0 and place the dividend. We must be aware of the 2, 1 and 1, 2 principles. 3 is bigger than 1, so we only need 1 digit to minus. We will place the answer on the second rod of the left. 1 times 3 is 3. Please keep your fingers here. Next. The answer 3 times 8, which is 24. However, we don't have enough to minus. This is called over quotient. Hence, we minus 1 time, skip 1 rod, and return the first digit of the divisor. Now, we will use the new answer 2 to times 8, which is 16. Therefore, the first correct quotient is 2. The remainder is 18 here, which is perfectly matching the divisor. Hence, the answer is 1, which is placed on the second rod of the left. The final answer is 21. The previous demonstration shows the division of over quotient by 1s. But in some situations, we might have over quotient by 2 times. Or more than two times. For example, in question three, place the dividend 4524 four, on the starting point one. Five times nine is 45, but we are not sure if nine times eight, which is 72, is enough to minus. In this case, it is not enough. We minus one time, skip one rod. 